That's a lot of bees in there, mm -hmm. too. Well, a new state law aims to create more locally owned grocery stores. The owners can get low interest loans of up to $350,000. The goal is to combat Oklahoma's obesity problem by providing a healthy alternative to shopping at convenience stores. In tonight's segment two, two news reporter Krista Flash shows how the plan would work in Tulsa. Harry remembers a time when she could walk to a neighborhood grocery store. She's trying to revive that old-time tradition in the Pearl District, an area of Midtown that's being redeveloped. I've been really interested in healthy foods and healthy lifestyles for a long time. Right now, the site she hopes to lease needs a lot of work, but Perry sees the potential. The tenant at the end, as well as I, will have, we'll have a sidewalk seating. It'll be cafe style out here. You can ride up, walk up on your bike, and sit out and have a little cool drink on the patio, talk to friends. That community concept is working well at this corner store. The West Side Harvest Market opened just over a year ago, next to the Eugene Field Elementary School in West Tulsa. All of our customers are repeat customers, and we see them frequently. We have an opportunity to know what's going on in their lives. Clark Millspa says the market primarily serves low-income families who don't have the means to drive several miles to a grocery store. It's almost a full day adventure or half day for them to get on a bus with children in tow. You can just imagine trying to buy milk or ice cream or anything else. Prices here also match or beat what the big grocery stores charge, even though the market buys retail. That's okay because the store is part of a nonprofit ministry. But it's a problem for entrepreneurs who are trying to make a living. Economics is a real big concern. That's really why we don't have any little small markets now. They got pretty much put out of business by the big superstores and major supermarkets. Right now, you have to buy $15,000 of inventory each week to run a store. Steve Everly is working to overcome that roadblock. He's part of a group forming a co-op that will sell groceries at wholesale prices on a much smaller scale. The corner stores of the past put all their kids through college and their grandkids through college. So they, they can make money and they will make money. Money that Perry will use to open more corner stores. It's going to start developing that sort of old time feel we had when we were young growing up in neighborhoods where you see people that you know and you run into them and you talk to them and you feel more connected and, and a part of the community that you're in. Krista Flash, 2 News works for you. Krista, thanks. Now, Perry hopes to open her store in the Pearl District by next spring. The state's low-interest loan becomes available in November.